Jansen Panettiere, the younger brother of Hayden Panettiere, has died at the age of 28. A source confirmed his passing to Access Hollywood, adding that his cause of death is unknown at this time and that an investigation is underway. TMZ was the first to report his death, with the source telling them that no foul play is suspected. Jensen was born in New York and followed Hayden's footsteps, pursuing an acting career. He got his first role in 2002 on Disney Channel's Even Stevens, starring as a younger Shia LaBeouf. He later went on to star in shows like Hope and Faith, Third Watch, and he was the voice of Periwinkle in Blue's Clues. But aside from his acting career, he also had a passion for art, sharing his colorful creations on Instagram. Three weeks ago, the late star also shared a photo of his older sister Hayden cutting his hair on the social media platform. Not the first haircut she's tried giving me, he captioned the pic. Jansen is survived by his parents, Leslie and Skip Panettiere and Hayden. He was also uncle to his sister's eight-year-old daughter, Kaya. Back in 2022, Hayden talked about co-parenting her daughter while she lives in Ukraine on Good Morning America. I can only imagine one of the things you're most grateful for is your beautiful little girl. Oh, she's my, my favorite little person. And watching how she has handled this whole Ukrainian situation has really blown my mind. Hayden's seven-year-old daughter with former professional boxing legend Vladimir Klitschko calls Ukraine home. You are confident that she's safe. She is very safe. Um, and where she is, she also has a lot of friends. With Klitschko and his brother, the mayor of Kyiv, on the front lines of the war, Hayden rushing to be by her daughter's side, ensuring she's out of harm's way. And I said, sweetie, do you, do you know what's going on? in Ukraine right now. And she said, yeah, I heard something about war. And you took action. And I took action. So I created Hoplon International to make sure that every dollar that people donate goes to med kits, protective gear, helmets, and you know, blood for the people who are on the front lines. 